Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and let's talk a little bit about iOS betas. This is iOS 8, someone was nice enough to let me use it. I actually don't have a developer account yet, and this is the beta, and I showed that off in a different video, some of the different features that Apple's added to it. Now as you can see, it doesn't look too different, other than that we've got a little bug reporter app and health book or health and we've got a couple neat features that are here but using a beta is not like using your normal iOS I've been using the iPhone since the original iPhone and this particular beta is probably one of the more stable betas but that still doesn't make it usable for the everyday user of an iPhone now iOS or iPhone OS as it used to be called with iOS one, two, and so on until they changed it to iOS was actually pretty buggy just like this one is. With the beta builds, they're really not meant for the public. They're meant for developers to test their apps, use the new features, and actually get those things working. In this particular version, it actually is usable, but battery life, like most betas, is pretty bad. I even have location settings turn off, turned off, and you can see here if I go see it, it didn't work right and there we go uh, if I go into usage sometimes things don't work right maybe it did there but you can see this is battery usage and it's been on six hours 38 minutes but th it's been plugged in once or twice today once into my car dock and another into uh, the home charger just to give it a little extra boost that's way worse usage than I normally get I normally get an entire day out of iPhone easily but with the betas, that just doesn't seem to happen. Now, that could be because there's some things running in the background, debugging and checking some of the code. But in this particular instance, it's not that great. And iOS 7 was probably the worst one I used. And that's because that was a radical shift in the icon design, basically in the fundamental design of the iPhone's operating system. This particular version is a refinement of iOS 7. So iOS 1 pretty much beta one through three was almost unusable. In fact, the first one I put on it, I tried it a little bit and then quickly took it off as I realized how unstable it really is. In this particular version though, because this is a refinement of what iOS 7 is, it's actually much, much more stable and usable, but there still are quite a few bugs. Let me show you one of them. We'll go into mail and thanks to those that subscribe to me and just some emails I'm getting. Now, if I wanna quickly delete those, you can just do edit and tap on these and as I scroll down and keep tapping all of a sudden you can see the little icons disappeared and I can't highlight anything anymore I don't have any additional options I can unhighlight the ones I've already checked but I can't check any of these it just kind of went away now if I cancel and I do it again they show up but we'll do it in reverse and I don't know if it's a memory thing, but now I don't have them up here. So you see, that's one of the few bugs that kind of get in the way and you have to deal with. Now, if I slide this to the right, you can see it just deleted it. Slide it this way, mark is red. There's some really nice features, but everything's just not ready for prime time yet. The phone will randomly reboot at times and other things will happen. You'll be searching, things will slow down. Like I said, the battery usage. In fact, I turned off location settings the other day just because it was so poor, the battery life. Let's see if we can go into privacy and then location services. Now it's on for most things, but a lot of these I had to change to never. For example, the app store just kept wanting to know my location at all times. I really had no control over that. I even turned it to never use my location and it still did. So there's these little bugs all throughout that really make it a pain in the neck to use this every day, all day long. There's some great features, but they're really just not ready yet. Apple's nice enough to show us what's coming up, show its developers what's coming up so that they can prepare for the new operating system but while you're using it things just happen text messages maybe you'll be typing and all of a sudden the keyboard freezes and the app crashes a lot of the times I'll open settings and settings will crash and there it did so I didn't really do anything special I just open settings and it crashed so you get a lot of these things over and over and over and you just have to learn to deal with them if you're using a beta I never recommend someone use a beta on actual hardware that you're using as your everyday phone. You really can't depend on it to be reliable just like you did before. 
uh, regardless of the beta. There's betas that are on Windows Phone as well. They're actually a little more stable usually, and there's betas on Android, and those generally, uh, unless you really know what you're doing, most people don't have them anyway, or the early versions anyway. But in general, iOS betas are completely different, and I just thought I'd show you kind of some of the little bugs or kind of explain the differences between using a beta and not. I know a lot of you like to rush out there and try out the betas, on your own hardware, your own phone. And I do use this day to day, but I do have backup devices that I'm always testing for reviews and things. So it's not too big of a deal. But as your main device, I really recommend against it, unless maybe you have an iPod touch laying around and you wanna try some of the features, don't rush out there and get it. That's probably one of the things you really need to be careful of. But either way, let me know if you've got the beta and what you think of it, or are you going to be upgrading to iOS 8? I know I upgrade to every single update. Every, everybody asks me that, but I upgrade right away. But I'd love to hear, are you planning to upgrade? What do you think of iOS 8 features? And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.